Hey guys, uh, welcome to Curious Drive. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create um, an APK file for your Android project um, using Visual Studio. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. The reason why I'm creating a new project is because I want to show you from the beginning and I don't want to lose any steps. Just gonna go ahead and select a correct folder here and create a project. This will ask me the template. I'm gonna go ahead and select the template. And there you go. Our Android project is created in Visual Studio. So, uh, to generate APK file for your Android project, there are three steps. The first step, uh, first step is you have to archive your Android project and then create a key store file. And using that key store file, you package your archive file to create APK file. So let's just get started with creating the archive file for your project. To do that, you will have to build your project, your solution first. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, build my project. You won't be able to archive your Android project until, until your um, solution is built. So Visual Studio is building my solution. Cool, so it's built properly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and right click on my Android project and you can see this archive option here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And uh, it'll, it, it throws an error. The reason why it throws an error is because when you create a project in Visual Studio, it sets uh, for a shared mono runtime, which means that it, uh, to run this project on virtual devices, it has to run faster. So Visual Studio automatically selects uh, this um, use shared runtime uh, for the faster deployment, and you can't archive your Android projects when this option is selected. So I'm gonna go ahead, uncheck this option, and save your project and then build your project. Every time you change your settings, make sure you save your settings and build. Uh, Visual Studio won't let you archive unless uh, your project is built. So make sure you build your project. Cool. So the project is built properly. I'm gonna go ahead and try to archive my project again. Click on archive here. Nice. So it has archived uh, my Android project and in the bottom you can see uh, created date, version name, version code and the identifier and estimate size of your archive file. Uh, this identifier is how Google Play Store identifies your app. So make sure you, you know, put the string as a unique string. Uh, you'll have to change the string first. You don't wanna just put company name here. You need to uh, uh, change this identifier and make sure that once you change your identifier, go on Google Play Store copy paste your identifier and see if there are any other apps with the same identifier. And at the bottom, you can see the size of your archive file. So how do you change that? To change, change that, we go to property files here, Android manifest, and at the top, you can see this application name. Application, is, application name is something which users, your users will see on the screen what's the name of the application and I don't want to show dot android there so I'm gonna remove this dot android and change this company name as curious drive um, 
and then you can change the version name you can change uh, this is the version number this is the version name I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna save alpha release here and at the bottom you can see the minimum uh, Android version minimum Android version is uh, the earliest release of your Android SDK that your application can run on so if I if I select lollipop here of Android 5 uh, my application won't run on KitKat or any previous versions of SDK so make sure uh, you select the minimum Android version with whatever features that you're providing with your application and the target um, target SDK version is the uh, uh, is the mostly to indicate how current your application for use in the marketplace so it's not something that it's your application just going to run on Android Pi it means that this is the SDK version that you're aiming for and at the bottom you can see the required permission this gets popped up every time user installs uh, your application and tries to use your application so make sure yeah, you select proper permissions here okay now I've uh, uh, selected proper settings here I'm gonna go ahead and save the settings and one more thing that I would like to do here is I'm gonna change uh, the build configuration to release mode because if I'm building my project I don't want to build uh, the debug information in my executables uh, .NET optimizes when you build your application in release mode so that it runs faster on devices so I've selected the release mode I've selected proper settings here I'm gonna go ahead and build my solution again sweet uh, so it's built now that we have changed the settings and uh, build a solution I'm gonna go ahead and try to archive my Android project again so I'm gonna click on archive Sweet. So your project is archived now and you can see uh, the changes that you have done in the bottom uh, bottom panel here. The alpha release, it says alpha release for the version name, version code was the same. I didn't change it. The identifier is com.curiousdrive.curiousdrive.app and uh, you can see the size too. The size of your archive file has reduced to reduced by one third. So always make sure that you change the build configuration to release before you make your archive file. Sweet. So our archive file is ready now. What? So to create APK file for your archive file, you need to click on this distribute button. Once you click on the distribute button, Visual Studio will give you two options. One is ad hoc option to distribute your APK and the other is Google Play. So ad hoc is pretty straightforward. It uh, uses a key store to create APK file and saves on your local machine. And Google Play option is where you have you need to give your Visual Studio an API access. Uh, you have to go to your Google Play console and create a project, or you already have a project which is associated with Google Play, and create a client ID and client secret ID you can give that to your Visual Studio and you can publish your APK file frequently on Google Play using this option I'm not gonna go into that option I'm just gonna go ahead and generate APK file using ad hoc um, um, ad hoc method here so let's just go ahead and click on ad hoc and it'll list on all the key store files that are created on my Visual Studio uh, you key store file basically is a um, certificate which wraps your archive file and makes it secure um, uh, secure for people to install it and that's what Google asks you to do 
So Google asks you to cre create, sign your APK file before you upload it on Google Play Store so that it knows that, okay, it has a public key, it's a secure APK file and people can install it. So uh, to create a new one, you can uh, click on this plus button here. I'm gonna just give a few details here, curious app, or I'm gonna say curious key store, that makes more sense. Uh, yeah, and make sure that you do not forget this password or do not lose this key store file. If you lose this key store file or forget your password, then it'll be difficult for you or difficult or impossible for you to update your application. So make, always make sure that you have uh, this key store file and uh, you haven't forgotten your password, uh, password here. Okay, I think I've given give, uh, given enough details here. I'm gonna go ahead and create this key store file. Uh, you can see it lists down here, and I'm gonna select this key store file and click on save as. This save as button will uh, generate my APK file, and it'll ask you uh, which location you want to uh, save your uh, save your APK file. Uh, so I'm, I usually select uh, the Android project go in bin folder and create a folder uh, publish because I'm going to publish this apk file and store this apk file and this will ask the same password that you've used to create the certificate, the key store file. So I'm going to put the same password here and click on OK and that will create the apk file. Uh, in my folder. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, look in the bin folder and publish. You can see the APK file. And that's how you create the APK file, your project. And to uh, see where your uh, um, uh, key store file is, um, you can go to app data folder in local Xamarin. Uh, I believe it's in mono for Android and key store. You can see your key store file here and key store information. I don't think you will be able to open this key store, a uh, keys, um, key info file, uh, but you can totally get access of your key, your key store file from here. So yeah, that's how you create your key store and APK file. Um, give it a go. Let me know if you run into, run into any issues. Uh, you can comment on the video. I'll try my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.